Poof! Just another day at school! And today we're gonna put Android support to GNOME 40 with 4 steps! The Open SSL Installation Some distros, like Fedora, don't have Open SSL pre-installed. Make sure you have it! Oops! And what's that? The GNOME Shell Connect extension GNOME Connect is a rewrite of KDE Connect, but in a form of a shell extension rather a standalone application. Make sure you don't have KDE Connect installed already, and install the extension. If installation completes successfully, you'll get a new devices menu. Next you need the Android app. Open Google Play Store. And say, KDE Connect. KDE Connect. Install the app. When checking ins, open the app. But we won't see any devices yet. Then, connect your device. Having our devices on the same network, make sure that GS Connect is turned on. And then open the settings. The app that is actually an extension, will start looking for devices on the same network, and hopefully it will find our phone. It's a Redmi Note 10 with Android 11, if you're wondering. Next step is to pair our devices. So on phone we tap the device name, and request a pairing, that we will accept from a desktop notification. At this point we're pretty much done, and we can enter the device panel and see the functionality in the settings. But I'm not going to spend a second on them. I will only ring my phone just to make sure everything's working. That in real life I use Alexa, because it's much of a trouble tapping buttons. But let's take a moment to revisit what happened. First of all, we're using a shell extension instead of a fully featured app, for only a god knows why. That we previously got from extension site that is so poorly made that you can only feel sadness for the whole GNOME project. And all those instead of having an official GNOME phone app, and GNOME Cloud accounts to sync, instead of discovering our devices each time. But most importantly of everything, is for getting Android support in GNOME we basically need an official KDE app, that is even called KDE, the full name, exactly to hurt your feelings even more. And that official KDE app, Lads and Lassies Proud Citizens of Planet Earth, has 20,000 reviews and more than 500,000 downloads. You know what official GNOME app makes around the same numbers? The GNOME Nun app! In any case, perhaps GNOME with the same development effort can give more value to the project, and therefore increase their user base and attract more developers and revenue. But definitely lots of big things GNOME does, don't make much sense for most of people when essential features everyone cares about are missing. And that becomes a problem for someone to replace Windows with Linux and GNOME maybe? Run.